Hello viewers, this is Pawan Kumar from ASS Technologies. In this video, I would like to present you the travel request application which allows employees to submit travel requests right from their mobile or desktop. I have built this application using Microsoft Power Platform including Power Apps, Power Automate and SharePoint Online. I will show you how the app works and where the data for the app is being saved. Now we are on the home page of the application. Here we can see all the all my previously submitted travel requests, the pending request, the approved request, and the, re and the request which are being declined. As an employee, I can create a new travel request by clicking on the create button. So it will load me a, a form. I need to fill this form. First, we need to give the title for the request. Let me say I'm going for a trip. And we need to give the description for the title. Uh, let me say I'm going to office, going for office work. And we need to specify the start and the end date for the trip. Let me say I'm ending the trip on 27th of January. And we need to specify the place we are traveling to. Let me say I'm going to Bangalore. And the anticipated cost for the travel. We will mention it at 10,000. Then we need to click on the send request button. As soon as I click on the send request button, a approval will be sent to the approver. So the approver will receive a notification right in his Microsoft Teams and Outlook. I have done this workflow using Power Automate. So the approver will see all the details related to the travel request right on his desktop. Microsoft Teams. So here we can see the request title, description, start date, end date, and all these details. So I can approve directly from my Microsoft Teams. So let me approve it. So the response is being submitted. You will also get a notification in the Microsoft Outlook as well. So here we can see the same details are being published here in the Microsoft Outlook. So coming back to the application. Here we can see the report section. By clicking on the report section, we can access the Power BI reports related to my travel request application. Here we can see the reports are being generated. Since I am using SharePoint as a database for my application, I can access all the data related to my travel request application in this gate pass site. Here we can see the travel request list and the details related to different travel requests. Here we can see the reason for travel, the requester name, and the destination, the travel date, and all these details. So coming back to my travel request application. So this is the overall functionality of my travel request application. If you have any doubts related to my application, please comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.